When you look at the Houston Astrodome, what do you see? A relic? Just some old building to drive by on the way to somewhere else? To get a clear picture, try looking through the eyes of the man who saw it first, a long time ago. Way back then, it was just a dried up old patch of cattle land. But a former judge and mayor with a reputation for big ideas looked at the dusty earth and began to dream. Roy Hoffines was more than just a dreamer, though. Roy, as someone once noted, could sell nasal spray to the noses. So he literally packed his dream in a suitcase, took it to Chicago, and convinced Major League Baseball to buy into his dream of bringing the national pastime to Houston. After a ton of planning and a giant contribution from the taxpayers of Houston, they broke ground, Texas style. And old Roy's hard work and ingenuity started to pay off. First, they had to build a temporary stadium to house the Colt 45s for a few years. Then the dream began taking shape through sweat and steel. And finally, in 1965, the dream became reality. And a city within a city was born. Because truth be told, Roy wasn't just building a baseball stadium. He wanted big highways and hotels and amusement parks. He wanted ample parking and easy access, air conditioning and plush seating, and a $2 million marble of a scoreboard that was as long as a football field. He wanted conventions and basketball games, and events that changed the way people thought about things. He wanted the Astrodome to be a place where people came, no matter what was going on inside, just for the sheer spectacle of it all. And guess what? I'll be doggone if it didn't all come true. It was bigger than big. It was larger than life. And did people come? Yes, they did. From all over Houston, from all over Texas, and all across the country. And they paid just to see something that had never been seen and be a part of something that no one had ever been a part of before. In fact, when an 18-year-old pitching phenom named Larry Durker got off the bus from spring training and saw the Astrodome for the first time, he said, I feel like I just walked into the next century. And over the years, people came to Roy's Astrodome and saw marvelous things. Concerts, and rodeos, and WrestleManias, and yes, baseball too. Most of all, they came to see the Astrodome. So that's the story of how a crazy dreamer packed a suitcase and built two stadiums and changed everything by making baseball and a lot of other things possible in Houston, Texas. It's easy to look at the Astrodome now and just see a building that's, well, that's 50 years old. The Astros have moved on and a lot of people have too. But when you see it through the eyes of the man who dreamed it up, and you think about how it changed everything, and still influences every game you go to, and every event you see, you might just realize that the Astrodome isn't just some building. It's the eighth wonder of the world. A living testament to the power of dreams, believing in those dreams, and doing things that have never been done before. That's what Roy Hoffine saw what do you see?